A spike in vaping-related illnesses and deaths have Valley Health officials urging e-cigarette users to stop. Yeah, Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez spoke with a distributor, and they tell us e-cigarette users need to be careful with the products they buy and also what they contain. Cecilia? 25 cases now on record in Texas, including one person from Hidalgo County. Nationwide, 380 confirmed improbable cases of lung disease associated with e-cigarette products. Vegetable glycerin, natural and artificial flavoring, propylene glycol, and possibly nicotine. Silverback distribution representative Mike Barrera says these are the only ingredients that should go into the liquid used in e-cigarettes, but that's not always the case. All these other companies that we have on our shelves here are being manufactured in ISO 7 labs, ISO 5 labs, clean rooms essentially, where none of that bacteria, none of those viruses or any types of things like that are floating around. But it says products found on the street may have extra ingredients. The FDA and CDC recently released a statement saying in many cases where a person has fallen ill due to vaping, the presence of vitamin E and THC was found in the product. Now these THC products, they're not regulated the same as our vaping products and under the regulations that the FDA has imposed over the past two years. The vape station representative says people using e-cigarettes need to be careful of where the product comes from. You don't know if you're buying, you know, essentially cloned e-liquid, cloned products that are not the same thing that we have on our shelves today. It's becoming a problem across the country. So there has been some situations where young people have ended up in the hospital for medical complications. Over 300 cases in 36 states, including Texas. Some of the people are reporting complications with breathing, pulmonary issues, but many are actually reporting to the hospital with stomach ailments. In many cases, those symptoms quickly develop into pneumonia. Eddie Olivares with the Hidalgo County Health Department says they're urging people to avoid vaping. There's a lot of unknowns dealing with e-cigarettes and vaping. So that's why the federal government, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, the Center for Disease Control are conducting investigations on the various products that are used in vaping. Olivares says you should also be careful of where the product you're using comes from. A lot of that is not regulated and a lot of that is made in the streets or made at home or, or you know so there is no way to un truly understand what is the chemical in it all of this while health experts still trying to figure out what exactly caused these vaping related illnesses and Barrera and Olivares say if you're going to use e-cigarettes to do your research and to avoid buying products online or at a flea market in the newsroom Cecilia Gutierrez Channel 5 News at 6 Today, New York became the first state to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. Retailers will have two weeks to remove merchandise from store shelves. Health officials from coast to coast are encouraging Americans to stop vaping. They're also working to figure out what's causing people to get sick. The federal government is also working to ban flavored e-cigarettes.